Okay. Mr. Ostley said he had a surprise for me. Let's see what this is. Oh my I god. I like it. It is enormous. Well done, Mr. Astley. You did I this? I know. I know. I'm a professional. Wow. At these it's things. amazing. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the world of gaming and welcome back to the Walk Lab. And in today's episode I'm going to show you the Artemidas Ships mod which allows you to fly your custom made ship. And uh, so airship, ship in the water, any kind and look at that. Optifine has now been installed and uh, connected textures are on. That gives a way cooler effect on the dome look at that um, yeah okay so let's get started so basically the first thing you need to do to craft is this the helm now the helm is basically the core of your ship and is the only block necessary to make a ship that can um, go on the water right now to create the ship helm you basically need uh, four wood in the corners, doesn't matter which wood, four sticks like that and one iron in the middle and this will create the helm. So we're first going through all the blocks and then I will show you um, how to use these. The next item we have is a floater and you make this by combining a wood lock with a piece of wool. Very simple. And this is used to um, actually make your boat float higher uh, in the water because if you place um, your boat into the water the water level reaches like here let's say and with a floater you can reduce that so we'll see how that works in a minute the next thing over here is the air balloon and the air balloon is made by combining a piece of wool with a piece of string and this will give you the air balloon now as you can see right, right there there are multiple colors of air balloons and you make those for example this green one you make those by using green wool and combining that with a string so you can't uh, combine an air balloon with a dye that won't work you have to uh, create a if you want to create a colored air balloon you have to create so you have to use a piece of string and a colored piece of wool so keep that in mind also keep in mind that the Archimedes ship mod hasn't got an extra tab it uh, is all found underneath transportation okay and then one of the last things we've got here is the passenger seat and the passenger seat is created by using three pieces of wool so pretty easy and this allows you to take other players with you and uh, this is basically because if you right click on the ship marker it works a bit like um, the zeppelin mod I don't know if any of you remember that it's an old mod was in the days of minecraft 1.2.5 works a bit like that so if you right click it will take um, uh, all the blocks it is attached to and uh, actually cr uh, create or change those into an entity so it will be like this sort here if you drop that on the ground uh, it will be like an entity but this means that um, it's not solid so I can like I can just walk through the sword and pick it up I could do that with the airship if I would stand on an airship that is uh, flying I would just fall right through it so uh, the mod maker says that he is trying to uh, make normal entities like skeletons and mobs and such uh, work on the ships but players that is I think not going to work because it's way too complicated uh, that's what he says okay but um, it's basically it's pretty cool yeah and then the last block we have is the engine and the engine is a total mystery because uh, it has no crafting recipe there is nothing said about on the minecraft forums so I have no idea what this block does I think it's just already in here but it doesn't do anything so we're going to leave that for now and uh, yeah let's actually go to our uh, uh, ships in the water first uh, before we go to the airship because there are a couple of other things that I want to uh, show you so let's just get out of the laboratory real quick Let's go to our own private lake. 
right down here. All right, so this is a uh, um, yeah, a boat. It's basically not much of a boat, isn't it, Miss Astley? Uh, Miss Astley, that's right. Uh, get on land, please. Thank you. Now, I would like you to uh, just wait here because it's a quite a dangerous environment. You're challenging me, bro. Get out. Good. So again, we have the floater here. And uh, yeah, so basically, you need the ships... Uh, the ship helm of the helm, it's just called the, sh the helm. And what you see on top here are measurement gauge, gauges, or I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, there are two types, one for the uh, ships and one actually for airships. So uh, they both have the same name, but one for the ships has these two uh, yellow things. So basically what you do, if you have a ship, you right click and as you can see it like um, drops into the water. And uh, I'm, I, I, if you press F5 mode, this is pretty weird. But as you can see, the water level, um, it, 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 the block is not completely covered into water, but it is in the water, as you can see. So now I can just control this with W, A, S key. And you see, the blue, uh, the blue thingy is <laughs> uh, what uh, is, is, your, is your speed. The red is a compass. And I have no idea. I think these yellow ones are not really working. They're just... Um, um, decorative but yeah this uh, these uh, gorges are pretty cool actually I really like them so yeah um, uh, the steering is a bit slow as you can see and uh, you can see that we're ended uh, an entity we're a little a bit wedging into the wall like that so um, yeah that's pretty cool isn't it so if we just go back here break a bit all right um, uh, we can actually press a key to align our ship with the world axis uh, So then press left shift and there it goes it is turned back into its normal form Keep in mind that you can't build on your ship when it is uh, floating like that, but now you can build on it um, Also, uh, you can't leave the ship in like entity form when uh, my arm is a bit weird well, you can't leave the ship in entity form uh, without you being on it or another player, right? Now let's see what would happen if we attach these floaters. Now the floaters, um, again, just like the air balloons, they the uh, hang on a second. The quantity of floaters has to be a certain percentage of the ship itself. Now uh, let me just clear away a bit of the ground so I can get underneath. This is going to get uh, attached to the ship, so you have to be careful not to um, put attached blocks on the ship you don't want to have attached. Now, uh, blocks will only get attached when they are connected using the four sides of the block. Blocks who are diagonally uh, attached, uh, like so, that won't work. But you can change this in the config file as can you change the percentage of um, uh, of floaters you need to have in order to or balloons in order to make the ship float or work so we're just going to put a ridiculous amount of floaters on here uh, press right mouse button and as you can see we are uh, floating above the water uh, it's, it doesn't work like a hovercraft so uh, you can't go on land but yeah it is uh, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool. So again, you press left shift to dismount, just like a horse or a normal boat. Let's just put time set day. Better. Mr. Astley, follow me, please. We're going back up to Mr. Astley's ship here. Woo. Yeah, we actually need one more block. And oh, there you are. Good. Uh, Mr. Astley, I'm afraid, but you can't go on the ship itself. Um, I can't command you to take a seat in the passenger seat. Hey, Mr. Astley, don't stare at the ship like that. Come over here. Woo! Get over here. There you are. No, fine, fine. You just go stay there. Stay. Stay. Thank you. Um, 
Yeah, this thing over here is a shore buffer and is created by using an ink sac, combining an, insac, an ink sac and a floater. And again, a floater is a piece of wood, a log actually, and a bit of wool. These blocks are very special because they will never attach to a ship, so they are solid. So they are pretty good for making like docks for your ship to, um, yeah, to, um, to dock on basically. All right, so we're going to take this bad boy for a ride. So let's just climb this, get up, get that away. Make sure nothing else is attached. Again, we have these other measurement. Uh, gorgeous and we'll see what they do in a minute so I, i'm actually pretty scary for this because um yeah minecraft and uh things that are supposed to that are moving and are not supposed to move uh it's a bit weird so let's just do this okay um so you need to uh so let me just actually show you the controls so it adds uh one two three four controls so Ascent ship, descent ship, break ship, and align ship. And uh, so I've changed all of these to the numpad keys just to make it uh, a bit more easier. And to con so let's just get up. Oh, don't tell me this is going to work. I'm afraid this is not going to work. Oh no, it is. It is. For some reason, we are not going up. However, we are also mo we are moving very slow. That's because. Um, we are actually, we have uh, a pretty high ship. Come on, why is it not, is my numlock? No, my numlock is... It, we don't really seem to ascend. It's pretty weird, uh, maybe my... But I, I can turn, whoa, whoa, yeah, she turns quite fast. But she goes quite slow. Whoa, 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 whoa no, oh god. Whoa, okay. Um, that was quite creepy. Uh, we have missed quite a bit of the balloon, apparently. Let me just, uh, <laughs> my gosh, let me just align the ship with the world axis. Get everything, eh, hey! what just happened there? I pressed left shift. Oh my gosh, okay, uh, casualty report. Um, we've lost uh, quite a big part of the balloon, that's weird. Oh, oh yeah, I see, I see, I see. They're, they are not attached. They are diagonally attached. Right. Crap. Shouldn't have known that. Um, well, I don't really want to move all this shit back. Uh, let's just quit the game without saving and hopefully everything will be back in position. So I'll see you uh, very soon. Stay Phew. tuned. Okay. Um, so everything is uh, repaired. Now, uh, you know what, I'm just going to fill this whole entire thing up with air balloons. That way, we are uh, definitely going to stay uh, fluting, and we won't, uh, and we won't crash. The simple, luckily, Mr. Ashley didn't see anything. He would l kill me alive if you would see now, if you would see that I crashed his, uh, <coughs> his work like that so yeah so uh, as I said be very careful of that uh, especially when you're going to make balloons uh, but again uh, you can adjust in the config files you can uh, in adjust there and say that he has to take blocks who are um, Atta who are diagonally attached but again be wary of then if you do that then be wary that uh, you might get some of your terrain with you uh, so yeah that's uh, something that you won't like to do I would like to take the whole lap on a uh, fly so now we should be able to ascend uh, I don't know why he actually didn't. Uh, I think it was because of the air balloon he was blocking us. Now, this actually also gives the opportunity... Uh, 
There we go. So this actually gives us the opportunity to test how flammable these things are, or if they even are flammable, because that's something I don't know. Let's see here. Will you burn, mister? Yep, okay. So, uh, yep, yeah, it is flammable. Let's just get rid of that piece there. So I'll clean that up later. Let's just, let's just get that away first. All right, so now this should work, hopefully. Um, by the way, there is also on the list of the mod page, you can find a list with um, items that won't be taken with the ship uh, by, def by default, but you can also change this again. So yeah, pretty nice mod that you can change all of that. So um, let's do this again. All right. Now we should be able to ascend. There we go. So um, it's a bit, as you, as you can see, it's not a bit. It's a bit, um, a bit. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, yeah, a bit glitchy and stuff. But that's not because of the mod. It's just because Minecraft can't handle all of these things so good. So uh, my advice is to keep your ship when you build one. Keep it as small as possible. Right. Um, or else you're going to get into trouble very soon. So yeah, uh, again we so we have again a compass, a speed uh, meter. This is I think our height. Uh, however, it gets back. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, so let's just you can turn without going forward. It's really nice. So uh, break was two, I think. So this will actually quickly stop your ship. And as you can see, it's it's pretty nice that um, the bigger the ship, the 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 harder it is to move. This that actually gives quite a, uh, a piece of realism, to say. Now I'm gonna have to clean up that balloon before I'll be able to land this uh, thing. So let's just break a line first, just to make sure nothing else happens. So as you can see, you have to wait a little pause before he. Uh, so. Get v be very slow and um, patient with this mod, okay? Because Minecraft, it takes a lot of time to uh, use uh, to change its situation. Just quickly get rid of this junk, and that is actually it for this mod review. So um, more than this is not in the mod yet, apart from the engine, of course, which I don't know how to use. Uh, but it, because it doesn't say on the mod as well on the mod page as well, uh, so yeah, uh, I guess if you really want to use that, good luck to find that. Let's ascend a little bit now. The big question: if you're going to be able to land this guy, or at least something that looks like a landing, because the problem is I can see the but I can't see the bottom of this thing. So let's just try. Yeah, we can't really move sideways, so I guess this will have to do. Can we actually move backwards? We can. That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Let's just stop. Align. Uh, it's pretty far away, but whatever. Uh, left shift. Give it some time to uh, change. Good. Let's see how we done it. Ah, oh, yeah. Could use some more exercise, but... Oh, well. Um, yeah. Yes. It's better than nothing. Okay, so uh, good. So that's it for this mod review, Mr. Astley. Your ship works like a charm, mate. Good job. Good job. So yeah, that's it for this mod review. I uh, thank you for watching. So in the next episode, we're going to do another mod. So uh, that's it for the Archimedes ships mod. So I thank you for watching, a like is always appreciated. Where did Mr. Astley go? Mr. Astley! Are you still outside? You should teleport. He's trying to teleport. Don't interact with the redstone thingy jiggies. Come on, there you are Mr. Astley, good. So, uh, yeah. Again, I thank you for watching, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe for some more videos, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Mr. Astley! Stop turning around like that. Bye-bye.